an 11 a.m. kick that is oh, a watershed moment for a program that is in desperate need of shedding some water. Texas A&M, eight-point favorites against Auburn here in College Station. If this goes sideways for the Aggies, I really worry about the rest of the season. This is this next stretch, Auburn, Arkansas, Alabama, and then Tennessee, all before the bye. If A&M can find a way to drop, maybe they don't drop a game. Maybe they run the table, and suddenly they are right back on track and all the Jimbo haters are gone away. More than likely, though, they have a tendency to slip up in one of these games, and that Auburn team catching more than a score on the road makes me really nervous. I think that A&M does win the game because they're the better team, and they're at home, and they have shown that when they're playing at Kyle Field, more than likely they do what they're supposed to do and they win the football game, but given up eight points to an Auburn team that can be good, hasn't necessarily put all the pieces together, but can be good. That makes me nervous. So I'll take the Tigers plus the points, but the Aggies win. I'm taking AM. and uh, Listen, if a and is anywhere close to where they should be, they should win this one by multiple scores. Like uh, Auburn, I don't think is going to be anywhere close to the top of the West this year. The West could get crazy and Auburn could definitely find their way more towards the top, but Generally speaking, I think they'll be closer to the bottom than the top. If a is who they want to be, they need to win this game by multiple scores, and I think they get it done. If they don't, the current price of oil is $90 a barrel, and that's good <laughs> news if you're a Texas a and fan. That's one of the best ways you could have put that, Trey. Um, no, I think a and needs this game. Jimbo needs this game. Everyone across the board at this point needs this game. And I think AM gets it done. They've got one of the best offenses, I think, in the SEC. I'd put them right up there with LSU and Ole Miss. And I think that they're going to be able to do what they need to. Auburn, not that good on the back end. They have some good players back there, but I don't think that they're there as a unit. Um, they they are able to rush the passer sometimes, but still not really going to – not going to rely on that against Texas a and they're, they're going to they're gonna struggle, I think, to get after Connor Wigman. I think he's going to have – what he needs to 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 score a whole lot of points. Um, and, and I don't necessarily believe in the Aggie defense right now, but I think they're going to do what they need to. Peyton Thorne, I don't think, is a good enough player. They haven't really shown that they have enough packages with Robbie Ashford to throw the ball out of. So don't think that they're going to be much of a threat. They could score you know a fair amount of points in this game. But at the end of the day, AM needs this game. I think the fans know it. I think Jimbo knows it. I think they're going to be ready to go. So I'm going to go ahead and take AM minus the eight points in this one to, to roll through this and get to the next phase of, you know, let, let's, you know, stop panicking and figure out if we're, you know, back to where we want to be as a program. Unless your name is Jared Stidham, who wanted to play for the Aggies but didn't get a chance to, Auburn traditionally beats AM when they run the football well. I don't think they're going to be able to run on the defense this year. Um, the, the, the running. Rushing defense has taken a step forward as much as a step forward as the secondary has taken a step backwards. Um, so I think yeah. for what Auburn does well, a and is, is prepared for that SEC opener for Hugh Freeze. And I will note that the road team traditionally had won this, this game in the series, although the home team has won each of the last three times. So recent trends, buy into whatever you want, uh, but I think A&M should win this game. Gracious, yeah. how about that?